Chris Burden first came to prominence for his performances that often involved dangerous acts. So for example, in the famous 1971 performance shoot, he was actually shot. In another performance called Transfixed, he nailed himself to the front of a Volkswagen bug. Most people my age who were artists or art historians heard about Chris Burden because of shoot. It was the shot heard around the world and it defined him in a way very unlike his personality. It made him into a kind of a showman or a P.T. Barnum. He said, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Bruce shoot me. And I said, well, you know, I have to think about that. And I think everybody did. Everyone thought a lot about whether they wanted to be there. We're all in touch with the same information. And so without even knowing you're doing it, you're all coming to, in your own way, the same conclusion, doing something with your body. Chris really had everything very carefully figured out. You know, he knew how to survive for five days in a locker. He knew 22 days on a shelf that he could make it. As a matter of fact, the one where it all went wrong was doomed. He had left very explicit instructions, do not touch him, talk to him, give him anything, try to communicate with him in any way. And he thought, you know, anywhere else after 24 hours, somebody would like do something to sheer liability concerns. It was three days before a security guard actually came from some water. After he joined the faculty at UCLA in 1978, he started to move away from using his own body in these performances that often dealt with endurance and power and started to really focus on using industrial materials and technologies to explore some of those same issues. Two of the works from our permanent collection that I think are especially important are The Big Wheel from 1979 and Exposing the Foundation of the Museum from 1986. The Big Wheel is a work that really marks the sort of beginning of these, this kind of second phase of Chris's work. The Big Wheel takes all the energy from his little Italian motorcycle and stores it in the tons of, of, of the flywheel that was used back in the old mining days of California. The kind of dynamics of constraint and control that mark his early work really kind of get transformed in a work like The Big Wheel. You know, I think at MOCA, really, we really think of ourselves as the artist's museum. A project like Exposing the Foundations of the Museum really actually exemplifies that from an early moment. It's really a, a work where the artist really wanted to literally push at the foundations of the museum, to really challenge what the museum is made of. And we welcomed that at that very early moment. And I think that's something that we continue to do here at MOCA. He asked, you know, just some really kind of essential questions about how power circulates in our country that I think artists can still draw from and learn from and respond to today.